Here at Davis Auto Sports, we are very excited to offer you guys another completely custom in-house build by Davis Auto Sports. Uh, this is an absolutely beautiful Stage 4 Plus XJ. This Jeep, of course, like all of our builds, came to us 100% bone stock, all original, zero previous upgrades. This is a one owner Carfax certified guaranteed buyback vehicle. When we inquired it, it had 113,000 original and documented miles. Garage kept vehicle, absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, if you're familiar with us, you know that we have been building and restoring Jeeps for years now. This Jeep came out absolutely beautiful. A ton of new upgrades reconditioning, restoration, um, and I'm going to go over as much as I can here in this video, but there's going to be a full bulletin build sheet on both our website, davisautosports.com, uh, as well as the eBay listing for this Jeep. For those that have been following us, you're pretty familiar with our Stage 4. Uh, when our new website uh, is launching in June of 2016, uh, which is here in a couple days. Uh, we're changing some of the uh, points on our stages on exactly what each stage Jeep uh, includes. So just make sure to take a quick look at that because we are changing some of the standard and optional parts that are going on there. This Jeep has received a full makeover. Uh, just as we kind of walk around it, uh, take a look at the condition, but uh, everything on the outside of this Jeep is brand new, including the paint. So uh, we went through, Jeep went through our body shop, got every single scratch, dent, ding, uh, body work done, all new paint, beautiful new clear coat, of course new Kevlar all the way around. This Jeep just came out absolutely gorgeous. We have new carpet, new leather seats. The interior has been completely dyno matted. So this thing is fully, fully done. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful Jeep. But like I said, the uh, first part of this video is going to be a condition report, kind of show you what the Jeep has, and then we'll go into some more detail on what we did. I'm sure I'm gonna miss some of the smaller items that we did, but they will be on the website. We are shooting this in 4K video, so if you're able to view in 4K, please uh, make sure you do that so you can really see the clarity and just see how gorgeous this Jeep is. We put a lot of time uh, into building this Jeep, so we want to show you guys exactly how beautiful it is. So obviously, uh, the paint is brand new, like I mentioned. So you have zero imperfections in the paint. Before painting it, any scratch, small ding, and perfection was completely repaired. So this is going to be as new of a Jeep cosmetically uh, as you can possibly get. Of course, wheels, tires, bumpers, everything else is new. The only thing that really remains factory on the exterior of this Jeep are the handles uh, and the mirror housing and uh, the glass. And that, that's really about it. So everything else is new. Excuse the noise in the background, our neighbors, that's uh, FedEx here at Richmond Airport and they're organizing the daily um, incoming packages.
I'll start getting into the upgrades here in a moment. Just want to give you guys a good concept of what this Jeep looks like condition wise and everything else. This Jeep for the most part guys, uh, besides what you're seeing visually with all the upgrades, uh, this thing has been heavily, heavily, heavily serviced. Uh, I mean, it really is as close as a restoration uh, as you can get um, with the exception of a few minor things. I mean, we went through the entire brake. The brake system is new, the AC system, the heat system, but like I said, we'll get into that here in a moment. Like I said, I'm sure I'm going to miss a few items because uh, uh, in a nutshell, I mean, the whole entire Jeep has been redone. So starting off, like I mentioned, most importantly, exterior wise, you have a whole new uh, body. Uh, all the panels are original, uh, new primer, new base coat, new clear coat all the way around. Uh, we have our Kevlar finish. We have the front grille headlight bezels, raised portions of the hood, rocker panels, and the entire roof. All of that has been kevlar and that is within itself a very tedious process. It takes a lot of time. As you see, we just do the raised portions of the hood, which looks absolutely awesome. I appreciate some of you other Jeep builders copying us. That's cool. So what we do uh, with the Kevlar guys is everything gets completely sanded down just to give you an idea of, of what it takes to, to do it. Uh, it. It's much like paint work. Uh, whatever surface you're doing gets completely sanded down uh, with an 80 grit, then going back over with a 360 to make it nice and smooth. Uh, and then obviously everything's masked off with tape and everything else. Uh, then it gets a primer finish on there. Uh, and then the two-part Kevlar. And uh, this stuff, guys, uh, it's not going to come off. It's uh, very, very durable. Uh, and the cool thing about, let me grab a rag real quick. There's a beautiful Stage 6 that we just sold as well. Here's a SRT Cherokee. We're going to pull the engine out of that and uh, put it in a Cherokee Sport. Now I'm just messing with you guys. So... A lot of people, you know, kind of compare this to a bed liner material, Linex, whatever the case is. The cool thing about this stuff, though, you can wipe it with a rag to where uh, bed liner, you can't do that. A microfiber rag is going to get caught up on it. Uh, so when this stuff gets dirty, dusty, whatever the case is, uh, you clean it off, spray it with a hose. You can clean it with a brush, but then you can also dry it as well. So it's actually, for what it is, it's a very... It's definitely textured, uh, it's rough, but at the same time, if it makes sense, it's also smooth for a rough material. So, very easy to clean. Uh, we followed the lines right here all the way up to the header panel, uh, which looks really cool as well. Or excuse me, the uh, hood cow, excuse me. So, as far as the paint goes, guys, every single panel has been painted. The pillars, uh, the gutter rail up top, full-fledged paint job beautiful beautiful paint as you see the reflection is beautiful let me just look at the reflection through there so all new paint new Kevlar went with a beautiful set of flat bushwhacker flares gives it a nice look uh, up front we have a heavy-duty front bumper stinger style attachment 9500 uh, pound winch those are pro comp true HID lights. Those yellow portions of the lights are lenses. Those pop off. Uh, the yellow gives it a little bit of color and pop uh, on the vehicle, but also very functional in the rain, fog, snow. But they're literally just lenses that you just pop right on off. Uh, and it's a clear lens with uh, gray housing around it, which also looks really good on this. Uh, so those can come off as well. That's our air compressor kicking off, so just give us one second while I go ahead and show you down below as well. Hey, 
every single steering component, suspension component, bushings, tie rod ends, everything is brand new. Rubicon Express, all top of the line. Compressor will kick off in a second, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up in the front. We have true truck light LED headlights. Those are not replicas. Those are authentic truck lights. Uh, boxes included, warranty information, everything else. Those are an absolute must-have. Those are DOT approved. The DOT stamp is on the lens. Uh, we also have our in-house done uh, lightly smoked lenses as well, just to give it that nice look. But as you see, they're still amber. Uh, but not super bright orange. So what we actually do with those is we mix uh, black base coat paint and with clear coat we sand it down and shoot it out of a professional uh, paint gun. So it looks absolutely beautiful. New windshield wipers, new arms, all that stuff as well. Quick, uh, quick disconnect D-rings up front. Uh, there's also additional tabs here for additional lighting. If you guys want some more lighting, just let us know. We will be more than happy to do so. Moving our way to the back of the vehicle. Obviously heavy duty rear bumper, integrated tire carrier with an integrated hitch. Down below that hitch, we have our rear view camera right there. And also, uh, just so you guys know, those are rear, brand new rear drums and shoes, but the way uh, drums and shoes are, they will require acquire a little bit of uh, surface for us when they get wet, but those are absolutely brand new. Uh, quick disconnect D-rings as well. Back tail lights have also lightly been smoked, just the amber part. Obviously, full-size spare attached to the back. We have a safari rack, just to give you guys a, another option. That is a mid-level sort of safari rack, the one we use on our Stage 6. Uh, this is an Olympic top hat rack. Uh, this thing can hold some serious, serious weight. Absolute, one of the best racks. It is the best rack for the XJ. You got tabs up front for a LED uh, light bar, but this rack right here, is extremely functional, very durable. So if you're really going to be using the rack to put some heavy weight up there, uh, that Olympic top hat is really the way to go. Uh, this guy on this one's good rack for what it is, uh, but if you're looking to put, you know, a few hundred pounds, uh, definitely we will upgrade that for you. Wheels and tires, uh, we have on this Nitto Trail Grappler tires, 285, 75, 17, so roughly a 33 inch tire. Uh, 17 by 9 wheels, black wheels with a matte finish with a gray ring around them. Gives it a nice little pop. Lightly uh, tinted windows all the way around, as well as uh, rain guards. So as far as the exterior upgrades, there you have it. Maybe a few more little items that I missed out on. Uh, suspension wise, uh, and steering up front you have a brand new Rubicon Express tie rod bar and you have brand new tie rod ends those are also Rubicon Express you have I'm gonna go ahead and get down here for you guys you have a Rubicon Express uh, extreme duty track bar with the drop down bracket you also have a very rare Rubicon Express track bar brace that's also attached to the additional drop down bracket. Brand new sway bar, sway bar bushings, sway bar end links, uh, brand new drag link bar, steering stabilizer. You have JKS aluminum uh, bottom bump stops as well. 
You have an ARB diff cover. Uh, both diffs have been fully serviced, sealed up the whole nine. If you take a look up there, you see a brand new oil pan gasket. Vehicle also has a brand new rear main seal, brand new valve cover gasket. There are your brand new coils, your shocks. You have your braided stainless steel brake lines. Um, and in addition to the uh, stainless steel woven lines, we also have brand new brake lines, uh, hard brake lines. So your top of the line suspension lifts that come with brake lines, they come with just the actual soft portion. We have all brand new hard lines throughout the entire vehicle. For braking, we have brand new drilled and slotted rotors, brand new calipers, all brand new hardware as well. Let's see if we can get a glimpse up here. There's your hard brake line that is all brand new. So your brake fluid, every single portion of the braking system on this vehicle is brand new. We have stainless steel brake lines in the back as well. see if we can focus just on the rotor there's your brand new drilled and slotted rotor there's a look at your brand new caliper like I said guys this thing is absolutely everything you could pretty much do you have your brand new high flow catalytic converter your full exhaust system go ahead and get back down here there up there is your brand new slip yoke eliminator your brand new drive shaft as well. See what I do for you guys? Get on the floor and everything. In the back of the vehicle, you have brand new uh, drums, brand new shoes, brand new hardware inside the brakes as well. You have uh, full leaf springs on the vehicle, all new hardware. All the hardware on the vehicle, uh, so for some reason suspension uh, lift kits do not come uh, with new hardware, so we use all brand new hardware. It's all grade 8 hardware. Uh, obviously top of the line hardware won't rust or give you uh, any issues. Full leaf springs. So that is the first portion of the exterior. We're going to go ahead and do a separate video uh, for the interior.